For our next lesson, we are going to cover something that's called range and outliers. And just like when we're finding the mean, median, and mode, we're going to be given a data set, a set of numbers that may or may be out of order. And if they're out of order, we're going to have to put them in order from least to greatest. Now, I've already done that with my data set, starting from 40, going all the way to number 50 being the largest. Now, you can see I've already picked out the median, which is our middle number in the set, and that's 70. And I can check that because I'm going to have the same amount of numbers on the right as I do on the left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So 70 is definitely my median. Now this is going to be something new for us because I want to find what are called the lower and upper extremes. And this is really easy to do because the lower and upper extremes are the smallest number in the set and the largest number in the set. So it's going to be our first number that comes, which is 40. This is my lower extreme. And if 40 is my lower extreme, my largest number, which was 150, that's got to be my upper extreme. Now you can see we have some other vocabulary words on the board. We're also going to find these values. We're going to next find what are called the lower and upper quartiles. The lower and upper quartiles. Now the easiest way to remember how to find or what are the lower and upper quartiles, think of it as the median number for both sides of the median. So to clarify, remember we have four numbers on the right and the left of our median. So I want to find the center number on both sides. Well, we've got one, two, three, four numbers. Even set means I'm going to end up picking two of them, adding them together, and dividing by two. Well, let's start with the lower. Let's start with the lower. The lower quartile will always be on the left side of the median. So if I look here, I've got 40, 42, 60, and 60. I know that these are my middle two numbers. So those are the two numbers, two values that I want to add, to, uh, add together and then divide by two. So I know this is my lower quartile. I'm going to call it my lower Q. And I know I find that by adding 42 to 60, then dividing that by two. And when I do that problem, I get an answer of 51. So my lower quartile is 51. Now we're going to have to come over here and do the same thing for the upper quartile. Well, we see my center two numbers are 78. This one's a little bit easier to do. We'll call this our upper Q, upper quartile. 78 plus 78 divided by 2. Well, since they are both the same number, it remains. So we know that our upper quartile is 78. So now we found our lower extreme. We found our upper extreme. We found our lower quartile and our upper quartile. What we want to do next is something that's very easy and it's called the range. We're going to find the range. And to do that, we take our upper extreme, which is our biggest number, and we're going to subtract away from it our lower extreme, which is our smallest number. We're going to take away 40 from it. So to find my range, it's going to be 150 minus 40, which most of us can use mental math for that, it's going to be 110. So my range is equal to 110. Now to find the interquartile range, what we want to do is basically the same thing that we did with the range, except for I'm going to subtract my two quartiles. So we're going to start with the upper quartile, the larger number, which was 78, we're going to subtract from it 51. So I take 51 away from it here. So that's 7 and a 2. So now I found that my interquartile range, I'll call that my IQ range, was equal to the upper quartile minus the lower. Gives me 27. Just to kind of clear things up here, it's a little bit easier to see. I've now found everything I'm looking for. My lower and upper extremes. Lower extreme is the smallest number in the set. Upper extreme is the largest. 
my lower and upper quartiles, finding the median number on the left side, the median number on the right side. To find the range, we subtract the smallest number from the largest. And to find the IQ range, we subtract the smaller quartile from the larger quartile. Next, we're going to look at what's called a box and whisker plot. And it gets its name because we see we have a box in the middle and then these two lines on the outside that you can say kind of look like whiskers on a cat or some other animal. Now, there are a few things to identify, and they're actually some of the terms that we just learned. The median number we know is always in the middle, and it's identified as this middle dot in line inside the box. So just like the median number is in the center of our set, the median number is in the center or middle of our box. Now, if you remember from before, we learned about the lower quartiles and the upper quartiles are. And in a box and whisker plot or diagram, we find the lower quartile as the last number on the outside edge here to the left, and the upper quartile is the last number on the right side or the right line of the box. Now, on our whiskers, we also have numbers. The smallest number, the one farthest to the left, that's our lower extreme. Our upper extreme is our largest number, and we see it's here at the end of the outside. And now what we call these as well as upper and lower extremes, we call them something else, they're called outliers. And I'll write that down on the board. They're called outliers because they lie outside of the box. And those are our lower and upper extremes. So what time we call these outliers. There, and an outlier here. So one more time, if we're given a box and whisker diagram, what we need to do is identify the median, and that's the number that's always going to be in the middle with a line on the top of the dot and below it. The lower quartile is the number that goes along the left-hand side line. Upper quartile, right-hand side line. We have our lower extreme, which is an outlier, and our upper extreme, which is also an outlier.